It's okay to ask for help. It was really difficult for me for the longest time to ask for help because I told myself that if I ask for help, it would be admitting that I'm a loser. And so number one thing always is ask for help. And number two in the same sentence is ask the right people. Seriously, get a coach. This, this, this is the, the best investment that I've made in my life. This is the reason why I'm a coach today. Um, you know, there are so many things that you don't know that you don't know. We call it a blind spot. And so these blind spots, they run your life, your relationship with money, your relationship with time. Ask for help, get a coach slash mentor. Three, spend more time in nature. Nature really is an incredible, an incredible experience. And especially if you're a high performer, you need that, that sense of recalibration that doesn't come from technology. You know, we're all using a lot of technology, myself included. And when you go into nature and you leave technology at home, it's something amazing that happens there. It's the sense of re coming back to your center. So you come out of it, you feel fresher, more energized, clearer. So I'd say do that. Um, or practice meditation daily. Make meditation get good like brushing your teeth. It's such it's it's such a cheat code. It's 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 incredible what meditation can do for you. I meditate every day for a good 60, 70 minutes. No, no exceptions. And it's, it's helping me so much in every area. I make more money because of it. I work less hour because of it. I meet incredible people because of it. My relationship with my wife is incredible because of it. Because it really allows you, when you meditate, you listen to your own thoughts. And you realize what a bunch of garbage oftentimes there is playing out there. It's like the script, you're like, I can't believe that there's thinking that. And so when you have that ability, you also have power. Because now you know, okay, I no longer choose to entertain these thoughts. I no longer choose to be run by self-doubt. This time I'm just going to observe the doubt, but I'm not going to go into that. And it really grants you to have peace, inner peace and inner knowing before you hit the jackpot. See, most of us, and especially young people, were chasing this elusive one day idea. One day I'll have this much money. One day I'll have this body. One day I'll live there and I have this person. Blah, blah, blah. And we wait for that to give us permission to feel free, to feel peace, to feel powerful. And meditation allows you to feel it before the result comes. And because of that, it shortens the distance between you and the results. I, I became a pilot because I watched the movie Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio. And I saw him there and I was like, man, this guy is killing it. The ladies, the lifestyle, the money, it looks so easy. I want that. I want to be that guy because I told myself if I'm that guy, I'm a made man. I have it all. Everybody will love and respect me. And so I chose... I was chasing a vi version of who I thought I was supposed to be. And I did it so with so much fire behind my ass that I wasn't willing to accept the reality that said, this is not who you are. Just accept that's not who you are. And so I was suffering because I was denying myself who I really was. And when you do that, it doesn't matter where you do it, if it's in a relationship with another person, if it's your job, if it's your business, if it's, if it's the clients you work with, you will suffer. It's guaranteed. What would you tell your younger self? Great question. I would give him a big hug and I would tell him, I would tell him that he is perfect just the way that he is. I would, I would tell him that I love him and then I'm proud of the young man that he is. And I would just ask, and, and I would also thank him. I would thank him for helping me become the man that I am today, because if it wasn't for him, I would never be who I am today.